ladies and gentlemen, I am here to let you know that you really do need to stop using ChatGPT to look up case citations. ChatGPT lies. And the case citations, even though they appear to be valid, are wrong. It's gotten worse. So at first it was maybe one, two, or three, but now it's a lot worse. And I will show you in a moment because uh, it looks like you have summarized the key points, really. Now, I want you to see something. It gave me several cases. Let me show this to you guys. Those are the cases it gave me. Then it gave me some other cases right there. Okay, now let's go back and look and see what perplexity says about ChatGPT's stupidity. So they have changed the system. Yay. Now notice this. Uh, we got to scroll down. Uh-oh, don't want that. Didn't, didn't, don't want to do it. Would not be prudent. None of these cases you cited appear to be accurately summarized or even real cases based upon the search results provided. Now, hold on now. That's, that's one set. Hold on. Right here. The cases you've cited do not appear to be accurately summarized or even real cases based on the search results provided. Ten cases it gave me. So that's ChatGPT. Ladies and gentlemen, just stop paying for their service. Use it for everything else, but stop paying for the service. You can use it to create motions, but it will mess up sentences. I've noticed that today in listening to some of the junk it's created. It will purposely mess up sentences when you have it produce templates. Okay? And because they have the warning at the bottom, it could make mistakes. It's not making mistakes. They're doing this intentionally. See, it wasn't happening before, but it's happening now. This is this piece of crap, open AI. Okay, this is what they are doing because why? They've had too many complaints by the courts and attorneys because they've worked out deals. Just thought I'd let you guys know that ChatGPT, it doesn't lie. They programmed it to lie. So, hey, title of this video, gotta go.